Have you seen Star Trek Lower Decks? Last week episode, they confirmed Tom Riker is alive. Uh, everybody says Lower Decks is great. I haven't seen it. Carmine, you've seen a few episodes, yeah? I've seen the whole thing. I have not seen a new season. I think they're up to season four now. It is fun. It's very fun. Tom um, Tom Riker, by the way, for those that don't want Star Trek, is... Uh, um, there's an episode in in the next generation where where they go to a planet and they find that years ago there was a transporter accident that that cloned and replicated Will Riker. And so neither man is really the real Will Riker, but one got to live a life in Starfleet and got promoted, and the other was stuck on this planet for years and has now just escaped. And it's interesting because the guy who comes back was still in a relationship with Deanna Troy. They never broke up. And so he wants to like rekindle things with her and things like this. And then he ends up having a very big different plot line where he joins the Maquis uh, and, you know, which was a, a group that splintered from the Federation during the, during the Cardassian Wars and everything. And then we never find, he gets captured and we, we have no idea what happens to him, but um, is Lower Decks canon? <laughs> That's the question. Um, I think it is is and by the way we have to oh, um are there any, yeah are there any more super chats i kind of want to like take i kind of want to have a rant against red letter media because they they mike has really annoyed the fuck out of me with his bullshit about like his refusal to even cover strange new worlds which which is really what the mm. new trek should have been like in one episode of uh, one of the, one of the videos he did like, so a couple months ago, he mentions how he won't even give New St- Strange New Worlds a shot because he saw the first episode. He hates how Captain Pike acts as a as a captain. He's way too like like blasé and whatever, and he hates the lighting and the mood. And it's like, dude, you can't even give it a shot. Are you fucking serious? Strange New Worlds is great. And you mm. won't even attempt to try it. It's this cage of nostalgia that we talked about when we talked about Star Wars theory and him refusing yeah. to like accept Andor as Star Wars. Like, come on, try to like new shit. He um he is he is very much like crotch he's getting to be crotchety old man uh these days. Some people throw that at you, by the way. Uh I suppose, but like you know, you do find me like liking new things, right? Like, um, uh, I don't know, you know, like I'm not like, oh, these kids these days, you know, um, like I find new media that I love and think it's great. You know, that, that happens. Um, like we do our lists of, of, of our, of our like favorite shows. Uh, I mean, I guess Mike does that too, but you know, they, they're, they're very, he's very much into, he, he overpraises new original ideas, um, like something he's never seen before, which I find in film critics a lot. Uh, like when Being John Malkovich came out, a lot of film critics were like, oh my gosh, this is so new and refreshing. And they gave it like a really good review. And that movie sucks. It's like, it may be new, but it sucks, you know? And like, but if, you, if, you're, if you're watching movies all day and you're just seeing formula, 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 when something new comes around, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so great. Um, and so the last thing I watched with Red Letter Media, is they, they, did a, they did a watch through of the Friday the 13th movies. Mm-hmm. And Friday the 13th is a ridiculous series and um, they get to part nine. And if you try to figure out like Jason Lore, Jason Lore, it, there's problems with it, but Jason Lore for the most part makes sense up until part eight. And then it just completely goes off the rails and part nine, all of a sudden Jason is a, is a body hopping worm. And it's just like, where does this come from? And, but Mike is like, Oh, I found it a little refreshing that it was something new other than like the same formula. And it's like, well, yes, because you're watching the movies back to back, but like part nine is, is a horrible, horrible movie. (laughs) um well so. let me let me some someone said um someone said here uh in the comments here uh let me see real quick someone said um he doesn't have to watch something he doesn't like that's the mm. problem he didn't finish it i would completely and utterly understand if he watched one two three episodes you know the three episode try and didn't like it 
the motherfucker didn't even get past the first episode before deciding it wasn't for him. <clears throat> like, yeah. come on. Like, I look, uh, in regards to, by the way, that is a good point <laughs> that Carl got you on there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. <laughs> look, look, look. I mean, realistically, I'm kind of I'm joking with the with the with the uh, the silverware thing. Like, I, like obviously, <laughs> I was raised a certain way, and so you see something different, you have that reaction. But I understand. Eat fucking food, however the fuck you want. Okay, I'm joking when I say that. Like, you're doing it wrong. This is why the whole time I was like, you know, proper way. Like, you know, but come on, you know. But uh, no, as for the red letter media thing, look, look, I understand that the whole shtick here, and this is something that uh, the old school YouTubers coming up, that was their whole shtick. They hate everything. They're angry about everything. Red letter media with the Plinkett reviews. Uh, some people are like, who's red letter media? Red letter media are some film review guys that are pretty big on YouTube. They're famous for doing their first review of the Star Wars prequels that everybody watched Mr. Plinkett's like reviews and then Kirsten they took that fame they took that fame and do and do and do mainly uh film reviews where it's it's this guy mike who's the main guy and then um uh who are the who are the other two jay who is a jay film and rich evans. jay and rich evans jay being jay being an absolute like insane person that knows every single director stunt person film guy that's ever been in the industry in every movie they've ever made which is insane like down to like who's the, who's the guy that made twin peaks um uh lynch david lynch he's a big david lynch guy yeah like he's a huge yeah. huge, he's david a huge lynch fan. they're all like they're all like film film um school you know guys who like didn't do anything with their lives you know who are now very successful but like and then Rich Evans, who's <sighs> Rich Evans, has the appeal that he is. He's he's so the everyman, but he's also like very intelligent and usually has the most right p- opinions, which is kind of funny, right? Like, <laughs> really? don't you you know what I'm talking about? Though he's kind of the everyman, and usually his opinions mm-hmm. are the ones where I'm like, yeah, that's really how I feel, and he explains yeah. it quite well. But he doesn't have the same sort of like encyclopedic knowledge of certainly not Jay and 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 Mike. But but do you understand what I'm saying about like the, these old school guys like Angry Video Game Nerd, Angry Joe, mm. your movies suck, I hate everything. Like I under God, this is gonna sound so cringe, but I I kind of understand Emergency Awesome now, and I feel like I owe this asshole an apology <laughs> because. <laughs> Because you remember how cringe I was when we first started like podcasting together back in 2017. Yeah. Yes, it's been that long. I would always like rib on him every now and then because his whole shtick is everything is awesome. Yeah. But at the same time, it's kind of refreshing that he doesn't really hate on everything. He just right. doesn't really like. I mean, I think that's why people his... like Chris Stuckman reviews and stuff. Yes. Like, right. Even though like he's not an expert on stuff, you know, and his reviews are actually kind of like light. Like, you know, he's just like, well, I really liked the, the, the visuals, you know, like he's a, he's a layman as layman as you and me. Um, like, you know, people watch us for our expertise on ice and fire and you on manga and stuff, <laughs> but like, you know, we're no film, we're no film nerds. Like red, red, red letter media. They're a bunch of film nerds. Well, Chris Stuckman, he's just a positive regular guy that got lucky. <laughs> you know. that, that that there's some truth to that but what i was trying to say is i hate how mike he won't even cover andor he won't even give strange new worlds a shot because there's not even like there's nothing to hate on that and i kind of hate that that's kind of all they do now is just hate on shit and that's all they ever cover mm. they never cover anything that's like decent or good i think it was it can, should like, have been their responsibility to watch andor i mean oh 100 percent. yeah you can't just like you can't make your you can't like make your empire off of Star Wars and then just fucking like not even bother with Andor. Like like I, I, say what you will about Star Wars theory. He hates Ant well he doesn't hate it. He just didn't like it. Fine, but at least he watched the whole thing yeah. and gave his opinion on it. I disagree with right. his opinion, but I give him the respect for actually watching it. Mike just didn't even try. 
Like, why? They, they, Just yeah, give it a I shot. will say that's the, it is the worst thing in the world when someone hasn't even consumed the art and has an opinion on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like. And, and once again, to the people saying uh, Mike doesn't need to watch Andor or Strange New Worlds, true. But at the same time, that is how he made his bones on YouTube. Mm. What The content that put him on the map was yeah. the Star Wars stuff, right? And he loves Star Trek. He always bitches about the new Trek. And I will agree, Discovery sucks. Discovery is trash. But, and, like, and Prodigy sucks too. But right. <laughs> like, there's some good new stuff out there. Give right. it a you shot, say, like, I mean, it's it's – because it's gotten to the point where when you say new Star Wars or new Trek, um, what do you mean? Like, you can't just like, like, because like not all new Star Wars is crap and not all new Star Wars is, is, is good. Not all new Star Trek is bad. Not all new Star Trek is good. Like, you know, it's no longer that, that like one thing that they can pay attention to. So, um, yeah, yeah. 